Hard to find again. No! Oh, big trouble. That is Elio, oh, no, sorry, Simon Pacino barrel rolling. I had no break. I'm okay. I had no break. Oh, that's great to hear that he's okay. Wow. Frightening that he did not have breaks. That is in turn yeah, glad you're okay. four, I believe, downhill off the back straightaway. And that is reminiscent of, what, 1998, Michael Andretti doing a barrel roll here? Exactly. In same an spot. exact same situation with the mechanical issue for Andretti, who had an end fence stuck okay, in his suspension. I had no break. That's a long hike for the AMR safety team, too, to get down there. The fact that they got there within 20 seconds is pretty impressive. And that's the first thing, the thumbs up, that the driver is okay, which fortunately we've been able to hear, and the team has been able to hear. And we only caught the tail end of it live, and it looked like a multiple rotation barrel roll, which in a corner like that, in the gravel trap is probably a good thing over the alternative, which is skipping and going nose first in the tires. Yeah. As a driver, if I lost my brakes in a corner like that, I would look to do the same thing, start to rotate the car and see if I could bleed off speed as the AMR safety team, all eight of them, gets the car up on its side. But they don't have room to set it back down fully with the tires. Well, they'll just look to uh, brace the car. There you go. They're going to isolate the tub so that Simon can then release his lap belt. They'll unhook his air hose, his drink tube, potentially even a cool suit plug, and calmly get Simon Pagano out of his race car. And that is a great sight to see. And he's going to sit and just think about what just happened. That is a terrifying moment. There is nothing scarier in a race car than brake failure at the end of a 180 mile an hour straightaway. And I cannot imagine what's going through his mind. First, he's collecting himself, making sure he's OK. And then at some point, does not what you just survived enter your mind uh, immediately. You're in a, a bit of shock. Oh! Wow. Huge credit to the aero screen. We get another long shot of it. We did see some tire smoke, but it's unclear if that would be from a locked tire. More than likely, that would have been Simon trying to get, oh my goodness. You can see his hands pulled back to his chest, probably grabbing his shoulder belts. And again, I'm going to go back to the good news of that, if there is any, is that that is energy dissipation and it's deceleration of the race car before he gets to that narrow tire stack and the concrete barrier. As Simon waves to the crowd, and I'm sure he will be processing everything he just experienced, which, uh, like I said, is throat and stomach kind of moment.